Uh oh. It's that time of the year again. Yes, the time of the year that you get the dreaded registration fee. <laughs> so, I have realized I haven't shown you guys a toy of mine. Uh, and I wanted to do a quick little review on the Indian Scout 60. <clears throat> Go ahead and post it up for you guys here. Uh, I've had the bike for about a year, <clears throat> since this is the first time actually paying registration on it, and it's got about 1,200 miles on it. Um, I don't ride it probably as much as I should. Uh, for a long time, I, I had a, a metric bike. I've had my share of CBRs and uh, everything except Yamaha, really, which is funny because when people ask me what type of bike they should ride, I traditionally tell them that if you're looking for a metric bike, uh, Yamaha's a good bike to go with. It really is. <clears throat> but I had an unsightly accident and it decided to slow me down a little bit. So I went ahead and I decided to jump onto the cruiser market. First, I started off with a couple Harleys. I had a 03 Road King that was all done up. That bike was huge. And then I had a 2008 Softail Crossbones, which was a lot of fun. But they were expensive. <clears throat> uh, I won't lie, they were really, really expensive. And you know, Harley's a cool bike for what it is, but I will tell you right off the bat that uh, value for money, uh, Harley's not the way to go. It's not. And that led me to Indian. You know, Indian, I think, has a really, really cool um, backstory. You know, they are the oldest motorcycle company in existence. Uh, they're not continually owned, but no company really is. <clears throat> uh, they went away and they were bought by the people and now Polaris owns them, and they are still American-made. I believe they're made in Illinois or Indiana. In fact, all the parts are even made here. <clears throat> so, traditionally, when the Harley guys, you know, like, oh, my bike is made in the U.S. Well, not really. Uh, it's assembled in, it's final assemblies here in the U.S., but <clears throat> a lot of the parts aren't made here. Um, so, but that's a whole different story. This is a quick review about the Indian Scout. This is a 2015 Indian Scout. It is the very first year of the Scout. And this is the 60 model. What I mean by the 60 is that it is only 60 cubic inches. It is not the traditional 69. Now, what does that mean? Uh, it's 130 cc's different than the Scout 60. The nor or the normal Scout, I'm sorry, normal Scout. Uh, this one does have some things done to it, and I'll go over that here in just a few minutes. Kind of some upgrades and things that I've done to it because I'm a large fat man. <laughs> Doesn't make me look like I'm humping a football or anything like that. Some cool characteristics about the bike right away is it is liquid cooled. Uh, they, I think they did a fantastic job of hiding the radiator back up in there, which is actually really good. And what's really neat about it... <clears throat> One thing that not a lot of people know is if you stand back here, the frame of the motorcycle comes down here and stops, and it actually uses the engine as the frame of the bike. And then this is the frame up to here, and then it uses the engine as the frame of the bike. So I think Indian really went out of their way here to design a bike that's lightweight and still really, really strong. Uh, this bike will move. I mean, it really will. Um, it's dual overhead cam liquid cooled V-twin. Uh, I typically say that this bike is like a cruiser version of an RC51. It is just tremendous. Uh, the bike is 998 cc's. It's mated to a five-speed transmission. <clears throat> now, a big difference between this bike and the normal Scout is the addition of the sixth gear on the Scout. Now, cool thing that Indian did here was they did not remove gear six, they actually removed gear five. So what that means is I tell a lot of people that this bike is basically a four speed with an overdrive. That's what I tell people. Sixth gear is very tall, or I'm sorry, fifth gear is very tall, and you'll get into it when you're on the freeway. Uh, on to some of the mods I have done on the bike. Uh, I got this bike for $8,800 out the door at Indian. And that's a screaming deal. Uh, best time to buy an Indian motorcycle, I will tell you, is in December. That's why I'm posting this. And the reason why is because they have all the new models and they're discounting the old ones. 
And on top of that, they have a lot of cool little incentives, such as uh, additional accessories. This particular bike, it came with a thousand dollars worth of accessories. I purchased these. These are the mini apes. It brought the brought the front end up closer to me, so I can lean back a little bit more. You can you can see the profile right here. Looks pretty good. Looks kind of like a Dyna. Uh, I went ahead and I bought this little bad boy right here. This is a chrome cover plate. If you don't buy this, the normal sixty. I'm not sure if you can see it in here. It has just a bunch of wires and stuff. I think it looks really cheap, to be honest. Um, so I really, really like that. I bought the extended reach seat, and I bought it in tan. I think tan really complements the fact that it's an Indian. No other bikes have anything like that, so I bought the tan. I did buy the passenger pylon, not necessarily because I put a lot of passengers on the bike, but I have kids, and sometimes the kids want to go with me, and it's cool. Throw them on the back, you know, they really dig it. Um, this bike is not set up for two people. I will tell you right off the bat. These shocks are just, it's, and the bike is too small. Um, I tell people that this is between, the size of the bike is between a Sportster and between a Dyna. It's, it's not as small as a Sportster, not quite as big as a Dyna. This particular one, the way I have it set out with the extended controls and the, the four, the long reach seat and the bars, um, is right about the size of a Dyna. But, uh, yeah, for what it's worth. I did also include the rear foot pegs here, uh, which if you decide that you want to put these on your Scout, it's going to cost you about 100 bucks, And you can get them from Indian. And this is a huge pain in the ass to put on. You either have to remove the exhaust system or get way in there to install the bolts. It's a pain in the neck. Um, another thing I don't like about these is that when they're down... They're very much in the way of where you sit. What I mean is if you sit on the bike, look when I put my feet down, how close they are. And that's straight down. So, I mean, if there were, if there were somebody's shoes on there, you'd have to, I mean, they're just bad placement. Um, even here, I find myself hitting them when they're folded up. Same thing on this side. I find myself hitting them. So, over here to the controls of the bike. It is pretty cool. Um, you know, there's a lot of different iterations of this bike now. Uh, there's the bobber and there's all kinds of things. I just went for the black one. Uh, like I said, it was cheapest option. And uh, I like the black on the bike. It's really simple. One thing I did add to this was I did add uh, an, an aftermarket exhaust system. Now, when I bought the bike, the bike was so new, there wasn't very many manufacturers out there who had exhaust. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I found any exhaust that would match this diameter, which is actually an inch and three quarters. Um, I found these exhausts here. They were 85 bucks for the pair. Um, they're actually for an 83 FDXR. So they're actually for a Harley, and it's pretty cool. I just clamped them onto the pipes on the back side. They don't need any real mounting. I mean, they don't weigh anything, but the bike sounds phenomenal. I will start it for you here in just a second. Um, it has not been started in a couple of weeks, so we'll see if it does start. Uh, luckily, it is fuel injected, and I mean, it's cold, cold, cold. You can touch it. Overall, I really like the bike. Um, it's a great bike. It's a great option. Um, I mean, there's a zillion reviews out there. I just wanted to go ahead and give you my two cents on really kind of what the bike is and who I think it's for. Um, you don't want to ride this bike far. I mean, I rode this bike... 350 miles in a day and uh, no windscreen it beat the living crap out of me so uh, what i'll do is i will set the camera over here give you an idea of what i look like uh i am about six foot two 260 pounds so you can get an idea of if the bike's big enough for you and i'll go ahead and start it as well so oh god breaking cameras breaking phones we're good here we go all right, let's try that again. Am I in frame? Maybe. All right. So you'll get an idea. So this is the riding position on the bike. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of a big dude, and the bike is extended, which is nice. Let's go ahead and turn it on here. Hope it starts, huh? As you can 
yeah <laughs> fired right up that's uh that's awesome this bike is really is amazing i mean if you're looking for a reliable option to a harley this is a great one to go with if you still want to split lanes if you're coming from a metric bike and you're looking to get into the cruiser section this is awesome it's american made i i just don't i i simply don't have the words for the respect that this bike gets when it goes places people see that it's an indian they're like oh it's an indian there's like a mystique to it you know um if you want to be a little different go get an indian and the scout's phenomenal if you don't care so much about the brand and you're more worried about the performance if you can find a victory octane i would highly recommend a victory octane it'd probably be cheaper and it's basically the same bike but it's not an indian it's a victory uh, it does share a lot of parts with this motorcycle i think it's like 94 percent shares the parts but it doesn't have this this little badge here and you know what in the motorcycle community it seems like that little badge plays such a large role. All right, thank you guys for viewing the video. Uh, if you guys have questions about the Indian, definitely let me know, and uh, I'll be happy to help you. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel, <clears throat> like everyone always tells you, right, if you like my style of reviews, and I'll be happy to do more. I hope you guys have yourself a great day.